Greetings, folks. It's Skiz Fernando welcoming you back to another edition of Pan Asian. And I realize that since my book, Rice and Curry, Sri Lankan Home Cooking, came out last year, I haven't made you any recipes from this book. So I thought today we would delve into some Sri Lankan cuisine, and specifically a very popular dish called Paripu, which is basically stewed lentils. You might know it as dal. Uh, if you've had it at Indian restaurants. But this dish is actually a side dish, but I'm going to make it into a main dish for all you vegetarians out there. It's very quick, it's very simple, and of course it's very delicious. So without further delay, let me show you how to make this dish in your very own kitchen. Follow me. To begin with, you're going to need half a pound of red lentils, which comes to about a cup. Two cups of water half a large onion chopped, two to three green chilies sliced. And if you know me by now, you know I've got about five green chilies in here. Two cloves of garlic sliced, a one inch piece of pandanus grass, which is a very special ingredient that you might be able to find at a Thai store since the Thais use it in their cooking as well. But if you can't, don't worry about it. It's optional a one inch piece of lemongrass, a one inch stick of cinnamon, two cardamom pods and two cloves, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, half a cup of coconut milk, and salt to taste. And to temper the dal, which I'll explain in a minute, you're gonna need two tablespoons of oil, half an onion sliced, a sprig of fresh curry leaves, which you should be able to get at Whole Foods. You'll definitely be able to get it at any Indian store. One teaspoon of black mustard seeds. And finally, two whole dried red chilies. Now I really wasn't kidding about how simple and easy this dish is, folks. So let's head over to the stove. Okay, first we're gonna add the two cups of water and bring that to a boil. And while you're waiting for your water to boil, you wanna wash your dal thoroughly under some cold water and remove any stones and chaff that happen to be in there. That's actually the first step. All right, once the water comes to a boil, I'm gonna add my dal, which has been washed. The onions, the chopped onions, the green chilies, the stick of cinnamon, the garlic, the pandanus leaf, a piece of lemongrass. And finally, the cardamom and cloves. And I'm just going to mix that all up. And don't go anywhere because you're going to want to monitor the lentils and make sure that the water doesn't evaporate and scorch the pan. So if you need to add more water to the pot, feel free. And we are going to cover and simmer this on low heat for about 20 minutes. And I think it's time to check on the progress of our lentils. And let's see, that's looking pretty good. We are almost there. And at this point, I'm gonna add the coconut milk. As well as some salt to taste. And mix that in. And I'm also going to add at this point a little of the turmeric. And this is really mainly for color. 
and it's going to give the doll a really nice golden sheen as you can see already here and we're going to let that cook for five more minutes uncovered on very low heat now the final step is one that we call tempering in Sri Lanka. When you temper a curry, you basically add a little boost of flavor right at the end. So in order to do that, I'm going to need another saute pan. And once the pan is hot, I'm going to add my two tablespoons of oil. And then I'm going to add my sliced onions. And let those cook down for a minute. And once these onions are translucent and getting a little caramelized here, I'm going to add my sprig of fresh curry leaves, my two dried red chilies, and finally the black mustard seeds. Now as soon as you add these black mustard seeds, they're going to start to turn gray and then they will pop. And once they start popping out of the pan, that's when you know they're good to go. So I'll give that a good little mix. And another thing I like to do, which is actually not in my recipe, is to add a little of my specially made raw curry powder. And this is just basically coriander, cumin, and fennel just ground up. And it just adds like a nice note of flavor at the end. So I'm just going to quickly saute this all together. And you can hear the onion, you can hear the black mustard seeds popping. So we know we're good to go. And I'm going to take it off the heat. And what we're going to do is add this right into the doll. Just like that. And then I'm just going to give it a good stir. And we are almost good to go here, folks. As you know, lentils are a lagoon. And when you combine any type of legume or bean with rice, you get a perfect protein. So I'm going to actually kick this dish up a notch and add some fresh spinach. I've got a bowl of fresh spinach here, which I'm going to add to the doll. So not only will we have perfect protein when we eat it with some rice, but we're also going to have some grains. Just like that. And I probably probably should have chopped these down a little bit, but I'm just gonna press them into the doll like so. And then cover the pot so the spinach can wilt. And presto through the magic of steam heat. That big pile of spinach is wilted, and we have some Sri Lankan paripu with spinach here on Pan Asian. Wow, doesn't that look good, folks? I've got my rice, my dal with the spinach. 
I've got a Sri Lankan condiment called Kata Sambal and also a little mango chutney. Now, this is a meal I've had many times because when you eat uh, Sri Lankan food, when you eat rice and curry, pretty much dal is a must-have dish. And this dal is really good. You get the taste of the coconut milk, a little bite of the chilies. It's very smooth and creamy. Mm. And the spinach adds, adds a little texture to it, as well as some vitamins. And be sure to pick up a copy of my new cookbook, Rice and Curry, Sri Lankan Home Cooking. That's where this recipe comes from. My name is Skiz Fernando, and I'll see you next time on Pan Asian. Mmm.